got. A group of survivors are working out on an oil rig in the middle of the desert. The desert is blisteringly hot and the crew has recently run out of water. They grab their guns and head into town to try and find some. When they arrive, they find the town. Ah, that sentence is missing something. <laughs> Do you see that? Which part? They, they oh. arrive. They find the town. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's totally oh, it, it's definitely missing something. When we find when we arrive at the town, we find the town. This is good. This is good. I hate to get to a town and not find a town, you know. Well, you know, it could be a ghost town. I I don't know. I don't know. They all wake up to find <laughs> that your camp is in ruins. Something broke in the game here. They all wake up to find that your camp is in ruins. The tents are on fire. And broken tools and supplies litter the sand. So did we get to the town camp and then wake up? Uh, uh question marks. They're under know. attack from a group of mutant creatures. The mutants have a very difficult time getting the guns off of the survivors. And all the survivors have to do is pick up a gun and fire upon the creatures. Ah! I'm gonna take that cue. Zoom and Doof Belly picks up a gun and shoots a mutant in the face. You grab a gun and shoot at the creature. It does not go well for you. You take a bullet <laughs> to the face. What? You're shooting at me? I, I don't. I don't know. Mutant's bite is not as easy to deal with as the gun, so it shoots you in the face. But <laughs> you're okay. But it bites you, and that's worse than the bullet. This is a Am normal I game for this me. Correctly. This this is a normal game for me. This is how this game treats me. Vax, you grab a crowbar and try to help your friend, but it's too late. Vax Condell has already been infected by the mutant. This is not wait no. Huh? I. Let's just I, turn it off, I bad. Can't, I can't process this anymore. Can we start over? We'll start over. I'll do another one. Hold on. A group of survivors are working out on an oil rig in the middle of a desert. Familiar. The desert is blisteringly hot, and the crew has recently run out of water. They grab their guns and head into town to try and find some. When they arrive, they find the town. They all wake up to find that your camp in ruins. This is very familiar. The t tents are on fire, and broken tools and supplies litter the land. They are under attack from a group of mutants who ripped open one of the survivors. Feasting on him while he screamed for help. That already makes more sense. Yes. You deafen your ears and charge into battle. I don't think that's how that works. Okay, we're already on a much better start. <laughs> Dre Schwartz puts a shotgun against one of the mutants' heads, whom was way too busy eating to notice Dre Schwartz. He then pulls the trigger as he screams, Eat lead, asshole! The shotgun blast hits the mutant in the face blowing away part of his nose and destroying several teeth as blood spurts out of his face. Okay. Okay, that, that, that actually works. We're already off to a much better start, people. It, yeah. Yeah. Zach Frundall has a baseball bat and uses it over the head of another mutant. The cracking sound of the baseball bat can be heard yards away as the its skull shatters from the force of the attack. Now two mutants lie dead, and you are out of baseball bats. <laughs> or not out of gum. Luckily, there seems to be a group of humans hiding in a gas station cafeteria just down the street. I guess the baseball bat was a one and done, huh? <laughs> yes! <laughs> hey, this, this, is, this is actually still better. I think we can still do this. Jerry Schwartz looks to Zack and proclaims, Damn, we're all out of bats. Fortunately, I still got gum. 
Jerry Schwartz then toss a pack of Wrigley's over to Zach while <laughs> marching towards the gas station. We need to make sure they're still okay. Zach picks up <laughs> the pack of gum and nods his head. Definitely wow, seemed... it actually knew what was going on! Yeah, definitely seems like a good idea. We should probably let them know we're here as well. Okay, you know, I like this one. We can, we, we can do this one. Zach Frundel shouts to the survivors, Hey yo, listen to what I say yo! The two of you go over to the survivors hiding in the cafeteria. Which used to be a gas station. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, 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 it's a gas station slash cafeteria. The two of you go over to the survivors hiding in the cafeteria and approach them. When you join them, they stand up and ready their gun. Ray Schwartz puts his hands in the air. Whoa, whoa, we're here to help. We got attacked too. How do we know you're not another bandit? A man with an eye patch asks. This is the guy who saved me from the other mutant. Your hobbit friend points out. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm having a hard time not referencing Lord of the Rings now. Ugh. Okay. Uh, the, the fact that a hobbit is in a post-apocalyptic world cracks me up. There we go. Zach Frundel says, Why am I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I need a second. <laughs> Zach Frundel says, By my... <laughs> you can't get it out, can you? I'll get this. I'll get this. I promise. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. I, I meant it to be funny. Zach Frundel says, "By my fuzzy hobbit toes." Do you know where we can find some food and water, and maybe another baseball bat? The man with the eye patch seems to consider this. Okay. Because you can never have too many baseball. Our baseball bats are clearly made out of, um, glass. Breakanium. Yes. They're like keys and games. The key disappears after one use. Dre Schwartz, Schwartz, I wanted to say Schwartz. Dre Schwartz reached, reaches into his backpack and pulls out more gum. We can trade you Wrigley's for your bats. We always need more bats in our war against the mutants. The man looks surprised and shakes his head. Sorry, but I can't take your gum. I ain't got time to argue. We gotta get back to the fight. I'm, I'm assuming, assuming you said arguing that. With yes, I'm assuming that's what that's what's being done here. Zach Frundel says, "Look, guys, we saved you. I sacrificed my last babe, my last baseball bat, which I named Stinger." <laughs> you can at least give us some food and water and a baseball bat. The man shakes his head and looks at your hobbit friend. Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe, we have, maybe we have a separate hobbit friend with us. Maybe. We have, we have this hobbit following us around who we just didn't realize, okay? The man shakes his head and looks at your hobbit friend. <laughs> Zach, you're not thinking about eating that, are you? You call them baseballs. I call them fruit loops. What? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, okay. I, this, like, almost makes sense. Jerry Schwartz grabs some of the baseballs the Hobbit is carrying. We'll trade you these Fruit Loops for your bats. If that's what you want. The man seems to consider it, but shakes his head again. I'm sorry, but we can't risk it. Here you go. <laughs> I love how we're in a universe where bats are the most prized commodity. Zach Frundall points at the Hobbit and says, We'll throw in this little guy as well if you want him. It's a good deal. Hey there, you can have him, but make sure you look after him. I'm guessing that was me. Oh, don't worry about that. Not sure who said that. Yeah. Great, the man says. I think we got our bats. I think so too. Well, let's make sure of this. Dre Schwartz collects two baseball bats from the eye patch man in exchange for the Hobbit. Before heading back to the oil rig with Zack, as you make your way over to the oil rig, you think back on how you made friends so easily. Sure, hop it, hop it, spin it, twist it. Sure, hop it wasn't annoying at times, 
but now you're glad you have him with you. So what did we do exactly? Did they give him back to us? Did we? I I don't. Did I don't? We we wait. No, no. I get it. I get it. Well, for I get it. Okay. It's like trading in a car for another car. Yeah. We traded a we traded a Hobbit in for a Hoppet. Which is an off-brand Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> that that makes sense. Oh my! Oh, I see you type that. Zach Frundall arrives at the oil rig of Jerry and searches for the other survivors. Hey everyone, we have baseball bats and a Hoppet. <laughs> Finally, someone shouts while clapping. There's a lot of you now, and you all start looking for the new survivors. I... <laughs> they were excited we got a Hoppet. I still don't know what a Hoppet is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he even clapped! <laughs> 